Hi, this is Anne from The Useless Crafter. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know I've been making these potato chip bags and just bags for snacks and whatever. And I just think they're adorable. I love everything about it. I've been using Canva. I'm not an expert on Canva, but I wanna show you how I use it. And I just realized now, like no wonder. So the paper is eight and a half by 11. And I meant to type in eight and a half by 11, but somehow I'm looking at my template now. I did eight and a half by five. <laughs> so that's why there's white here, but it ended up being such a cute design. Like I feel like it looks very professional with the little white on top and the white line coming down. So I'm gonna show you that, but then I'm gonna show you also um, what it would look like if it went all the way to the edge of the paper. Now, the reason why I'm designing in Canva is for two reasons. One is um, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of Canva, but you can see right here, there's so many templates to choose from. Like they have the right colors on there already, and then you just go in there and put in your final touches. You know, like for me, I really liked the way the white looked um, with this turquoise teal-ish color and so I kind of went with it. It had nothing to do with the spine um, and then I went in and changed it from I don't know spinal care presentation to a barely art glue snack little dealie. <laughs> so you can see but I just really you know a lot of times when I'm in Canva what I find is that I would have never put those colors together or that font, or um, I don't know. They, uh, my strong suit is definitely not the actual design part, um, or using any like of the design applications. Like I'm not good in Illustrator. I'm not good in Inkscape. Um, so I wish I had that background. But that's why I loved Canva because it's actually super easy to use. And you know, if I say it's super easy to use and I picked it up quickly, then it's because I liked it and I started, you know, using it a lot. So, okay, here's Canva. Um, so this, like I said, when you put on, so where you go is if you go, I'll take you to the home, but when you go to resize, see, I don't know how I put in eight and a half by five. And then this is in centimeters, which should be in inches. I don't know what I was doing anyway. Um, but let me show you what it is from the home page. So I've been using Canva to also do my YouTube thumbnails. So you may have noticed that that looks different. I also use it a lot for when I, like I did this one, this was my, um, Instagram story to show that I did the actual chip bag tutorial. So swipe up for the link. It just looks clean, gives me more options. I can drop in pictures. So, and look at, I mean, these are all the ones that I've used recently, but I just really love the color and the font combinations that I wouldn't know to put together. Like I wouldn't have picked this pale yellow color and, and all of that. Now, the second reason why I use Canva instead of design space for this is because I knew for a chip bag, I needed everything to print all the way across because it's gonna fold and I'm gonna need the back right here. And I knew if I used design space, I would be limited to the print then cut feature of 6.75 by nine and a quarter. So this technically can print the whole page. So that's why I went with Canva. You can go with any other um, design app um, to, to do that, but I definitely don't recommend for a chip bag to do it in design space because you're going to be so limited in size and you couldn't even break up the, um, the images, right? Like it's not like you can design the front and then cut out from another piece and put it in the back because it all needs to be one piece to glue and, and tape to get, or, you know, tape together. So, all right, let's get started. So in the home page, I just want to show you a few things. Um, I've used this and I've typed in funky stuff up here. Like I just typed in happy one day because I'm like, well, what does happy look like? I want something bright and fun. And so um, you'll see in a second. <laughs> so right, like this is super cute. I, I wouldn't know to put these little paint swashes or swatches, whatever across. Um, so you can kind of see it's, it's really cool. I, um, because I did this through my business, 
I was not the one that opened the account, so I don't know how much it is. I should have looked that up, but that's something that you, you know, you can check out and decide whether or not you want to use Canva. All right, let me go to my design. And oh, this one was an, another one that I did. Um, it's so, I'm horrible at Photoshop. I know this looks, this doesn't even look good. But anyway, it was way more than I could do if I didn't have Canva, right? I was able to clean up the Barely Art glue and drop it in. So let me show you how to do some of that stuff. All right, so first thing is, let's just go to the actual potato chip bag that I used. Um, so it was this this one and the bear that I use is actually available on the barely art website so you can go down there and and download the their logo this was an SVG file now what I did is let me think about how I did this let me go to my uploads so you can upload things and what's cool is for instance I know I'm working on some stuff so you can see this but this is Alex Trebek, right? His little SVG, like an image, there's a purple background. And look, when you go to effects, you can just remove the background. So if you wanted to make a Jeopardy uh, chip bag, you can easily do that. It'll just take a second, but I just, I love it. See, look, at it. it's so easy, right? Okay, so, this is, you know, the blue, so you can see the blue, the print, the printing is awesome. It's photo paper that I used. So that's on my Amazon link. So it's amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter. Um, when you go on there, I have a category for these potato chip bags for this photo paper, as well as the crimper. The crimper is super cool. It really gives that like professional look and look how even that is. I, I love it. So I bought the two. Um, let's talk about some things that, let me delete this for a second. What you definitely want is the nutrition facts, right? I've gotten a lot of questions from people who have seen that. So when you go here, let's just say it was a Dorito bag. So Doritos, um, snack size, nutrition facts. Okay, let me go to images. And so you can find yours, right? Let's say it's this one. So I'm just gonna click on this one. And then hopefully you guys have some sort of snipping tool. So you just, we're gonna snip this little guy right here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna save it. So save as, oh, that one says Dorito, oops, Doritos Nutrition Label. Okay, so we're gonna go back over here, this one, and we're gonna go to uploads, upload media, and it's on your device. And it's in my pictures, and I did it as Doritos, right? Right, here it is. <laughs> so I'm gonna double click on it. It's here, it's coming in, you can see it's thinking. So I'm gonna click on it and there you have it. So I'm gonna delete this. So what I did was I kind of, I centered the middle part right here. So here I centered this and then these two guys, I kind of just put on the side. It's gonna be hit and miss um, until you figure out like what you want. So you, if you can see, my label is kind of on the edge. So you want, you know, you're gonna wanna move this one maybe a little bit closer to over here. And then do you see how the grid lines come up? So I can keep everything really um, straight and just, you know, I love, I love the little things. <laughs> All right, now with the, you can drop in very cool elements too. So their elements are like images, things that you can find. Um, I mean, they just have everything. Um, I don't know, let's, you, birthday cake, okay? I, I don't know if this is in there, but Canva has been amazing to me, so I'm just gonna go with it. All right, let's click on that for instance. So it's gonna plop, plop itself in our design, 
and you can put that in there. You can put pictures. So I know a lot of you guys, I've seen them that, you know, thanks for coming to my party. And then you have that. I know it's taking a little while. I'm not really sure why today, but let me show you some of my uploads. So I have pictures in here. I have projects. I have design space. So you can see these are all things that I've dropped into here and I've designed. Um, so it's, it's just so much fun. Um, I don't know why it's taking so long. Let's go to text. And when you click on text, here's the other cool thing. They have a lot to choose from with the font combinations. So it's kind of great because, you know, like a lot of times I spend forever figuring out what kind of font I like and it never, I don't know, when you give me a whole list, everything kind of looks doable, but then it doesn't look good. So um, I see my system slowing down a little bit. So it's taking a while to load. So I'm gonna talk a little bit more while all this loads. But with the font combinations, what's nice is it will give you like a cursive font with a printed font and it looks really good. Like thanks for crafting with us was one of these that just popped up that I saw. All right, so here is the birthday cake. So you can see your design can look so good. It's so easy to move things around. Um, so you see like this one, I think it's so cute. It's like a cutesy font <clears throat> with a like more serious one and together it just looks really well, you know, well designed and put together. So you just click on it like this one for instance and let me, let's see if it's gonna go in. Okay, so you just double click on it and like this, I'm gonna change to snacks, right? And this one, I'm gonna change to bear. And you can easily change the colors so that you can see it better. And then it brings in all these colors that are currently on your page. So um, I'm gonna use the white because I like, I'm gonna keep that. And then the snacks, I'm gonna change to that pink is kind of hard to see. Oops, no, I don't want that. I want the white. And then I want the snacks. Okay. Now I feel like the snacks, I wish I could make it thicker because I like that pink. All right. But anyway, I'm going to keep it the way it is. And I'm going to get rid of my old one. So let me move this down. So I like all this. I'm gonna get rid of the cake. I'm gonna bring this up so you can see what that looks like. And then you can just make it, you know, resize it. Right, it just looks, I mean, honestly, to me, it just, it gives that final touch of like a designer went in here and did it not obviously not me i didn't come up with all these fonts but i kind of just put in my you know my wording my project and i just think it looks so good all right so this is here thanks for crafting with us it was just another font but you know so look at how cute cue the confetti so like the confetti is in this cutesy font but this you know it's it's a good mix it's these are professional designers but you can also just go to text and up here and just click like add a heading. So type in thanks, right? Kind of like what I did over here. And then you can click on the font selection and you have all these fonts to choose from. So there's so many different things, right? So let's say you chose this one and then you can easily change the color by just clicking on here and picking, you know, I'm gonna do white so that you can actually see it against the blue. And then I'm gonna move it over here. So there's just a lot you can do, right? So let me go back to upload so I can show you what a picture would look like. Um, don't mind me, I'm just going. So I've been using this a lot, as you can tell. Um, where is that picture of me, the circle one? Hold on. It should be here any minute. Oh, and here's the glue. See, I brought in the glue and I just cleared the background. I put it over this beer bottle. I mean, it was 
like the easiest Photoshop job. I mean, it's not the best, obviously, but it's way more than I would have been able to do um, for myself. <laughs> All right, so this is coming in, it's clearing up. I wanna show you how, you know, how easy that was, right? So here's my picture. So let's say, you know, I wanted to do it over here. Thanks for coming. Thanks for crafting with us, whatever it is. And then you go to print. So you're gonna download it and then you're gonna print it. And then it's gonna come out like this. The tutorial to put this together is already available on my channel. It shows you how to use this. And so, and the perfect, honestly, the perfect glue to go with this. I don't always use glue. Um, if you know, you hear me complaining about glue because I'm kind of messy and gets on my hands, then it gets on the project. But this glue with the precision tip puts out just enough glue, three seconds, and your piece is dry and it's completely mess-free, super professional looking. All right. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you switch to Canva. If you want more, I'm going to study up more on Canva because I do love Canva. Um, let me know. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Thank you.